autopsy gives us a really great opportunity to study all the tissues and learn what has been going on. And so we really didn't want to miss this opportunity. Uh, the heart's a little bit enlarged. I just kind of note the overall contours of it. Um, overall, though, normal shape. There's a bit missing because we took samples of fresh tissue for our studies. Uh, and then I'm just going to go through and do what I typically do. The first part is um, looking through the coronary arteries to look for um, blockages. We were hearing and, and seeing that predominantly it was a little bit of an older population, those with comorbidities that were having the issues, but we've also been seeing that patients that are younger, maybe middle-aged, that may not have these comorbidities are also having significant um, disease. We're not only looking at the patient's tissues and their medical history, we're looking at the patients themselves, where they came from, where they live, what their characteristics are. Because this um, virus is so new and it's so unknown, we really wanted to make sure that the findings from those autopsies could be shared to you know, the, the scientific community um, in order to help you know, promote uh, treatment and, and additional research. don't know that much about this virus and we are learning a lot about the acute effects of the virus um, but what we don't know is what some of the long-term consequences are going to be so this is also going to be very helpful for that.